I see prayer in his house and praise in the streets. I see a cloud of revival on the horizon that declares hope and healing to a torn and tattered generation. I'm looking for something that we've been praying for, that hope would explode from Kalamazoo, Michigan and flow to the nation, and it's being declared. I see a cloud on the horizon. I see songs being birthed from this house that will go to the ends of the earth. I see singers and musicians that see clear revelations of who God is and writing lyrics and melody and music that will go all over the earth. I see thousands of young people moving to Kalamazoo to be part of the house of prayer. I see prodigals coming home and soaking the carpets of our churches with their tears of repentance. I see the church of Kalamazoo needing to rent out Bronco Stadium because we can't find a church building long, large enough to all meet. I see a missions movement starting from Kalamazoo, Michigan that sends missionaries to the four corners of the earth. I see ideation and creativity, businesses that are born in Kalamazoo with inventions and creativity that go all over the earth. You could say, but Kalamazoo has never seen revival before. Well, I wanna say that they said the same thing to Noah when he built the ark. Listen, I know what I've seen and I know who I've seen. And in an hour where so many are falling asleep, there's a church and there's a people in Kalamazoo that are staying awake and watching and praying. And what I see is not primarily the enemy. I don't primarily see hopelessness. I see Jesus and I see him on the move. And I see right now a church in Kalamazoo that is uniting in a way that we haven't seen before. And you can mock me and you can say, where's the promise of his coming all you want? But you can't get me off my spot on the wall.